Y'all, I can't believe I'm doing this video. Oh my God. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Quay. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. So y'all, today's video, well, I'm sure y'all seen the title already, so I don't need to repeat the title to y'all because y'all clearly clicked on it for a reason. So y'all, I can't believe I'm doing this video. Oh my God. <laughs> Yo. And there's so many people, I know there's people who watch my, who still watch my channel, who don't got no business watching my channel. That's why, it's just funny to me, like, it's just real funny. So, this video is going to be a sit down, chit chat video. I'm going to be letting you guys know how I found out I was pregnant. Oh my God, like the symptoms, like everything, like, this is so funny, like, <sighs> So, let me just say before I really get into this video, like, on a serious note, um, I'm not going to say how far along I am. Like, you just really got to know me personally and be close to me to know that. I'm not going to say my due date. I'm not going to give you dates. I'm not going to give y'all time frames. Just know that it's very, very much so recent, okay? So, let's just get into the video. All right, y'all. So, if you follow me on Instagram, then you know on Valentine's Day, I made a post about, you know, a little, I did a little pregnancy reveal on Valentine's Day on Instagram. So, if you follow me, you've seen it. If you don't, then you didn't see it. So, now you're finding out in this video. Yes, I'm pregnant. So, let's get into how I found out. Like I said, I'm not saying no time frames. So, um, mm, so basically this winter, like this whole winter, this whole fall and winter, my asthma has been acting up really, really bad. And, um, that always happens. Like my asthma, I, like my asthma is bad, like all year round, period. But it really, really be like trying to kill me in like the fall and the winter time is like really like my asthma attack season for for myself so i kept on doing like a lot of back and forth and a lot of follow-ups with my primary care um physician my pcp <clears throat> so it was a lot of back and forth whatever follow-ups etc so um what happened what happened so at one of my fault so at well before one of my follow-ups right so maybe like maybe like five days before I was supposed to um before I was supposed to go to my follow-up appointment something I don't know why I opened I really don't know why I opened um my period tracker app on my phone but clearly it was for a reason like God said bitch you need to see this so I don't know I was just at work I think I was at work and I had opened my period app and it said, um, your period is nine days late, time to take a test. So I'm like, what the fuck is, what, like, what? Like, I'm like, what the fuck this phone talking about? Like, so, um, so I'm like, you know what? I'm not even worried about it. I'm a just um so like me and my friends and stuff we had went out so I had ended up telling my cousin Jazzy and I was just like no I'm not going um she was like oh we'll take a test blah blah so I'm like no I don't need that bad, bad, bad energy like we about to get drunk we about to go out we about to go out get drunk etc etc so we went out I was like oh I gotta go follow up with my doctor like an asthma follow up appointment um a follow up appointment for my asthma so when I'm there instead of me going out buying a test for like 12 15 dollars that I'm just toss in the garbage I'm gonna just do it when I go to the doctor so we went out we had fun we had a good time whatever whatever then <clears throat> I went to the doctor right so I'm like so I told the medical assistant, like, oh, um, you know, 
my period is late whatever whatever can you um i want to like take a test so she's like all right so <clears throat> i sent the text to the person that i needed to text to let them know like but i already gave him the heads up like five days like when i seen on my app or whatever so i had um so the lady had given the test whatever so then my doctor comes in the room like maybe like five minutes later and she's like she's like hey how you doing blah blah like you know how's your asthma let me listen to your lungs blah 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 whatever whatever i want you and you know she just give me the rundown how she want me to um to take my asthma medication and my um steroid um pills like if you know anybody with asthma or really know about asthma like then you know like prednisone and stuff like that like i was taking that taking those pills and stuff like that along with like my asthma pumps etc etc so then she like oh um what made you want to take a, a pregnancy test so i'm like i told her like oh because like you know um my app i want to app like i got the pregnancy i mean the period tracker app and it said that my period was nine days but it was weird to me because i did eventually start bleeding y'all i did uh so i thought i started my period so i had cramps i was bleeding um <clears throat> and but my period only lasted one day like it literally lasted a day like one full this is tmi but like one full pad full of blood and it was one day but i didn't really know how to feel about it because um my periods don't last long anyway they last three days and then the fourth day is like when it's brown fading going away so i'm like all right well maybe this month is just really gonna be one day because i know like I don't know. I was just like, all right, whatever. So, <coughs> so before my cycle starts, like a week or two, between a week or two before my cycle begins, my breasts are always tender, right? So my breasts were sore. So then, even though I started bleeding late, I was still bleeding. It was like a whole day, like you know what I'm saying. So I didn't think nothing of it. But what made me still want to take the test is because after the bleeding my breast was still hurting so and normally once my period comes my breasts aren't sore anymore like my pms symptoms go away so the fact that the soreness was still there i'm like mm, no like that's off like what the fuck so anyway so yeah i explained all that to my doctor so she's like i'm like why what happened <laughs> She's like, oh, okay, because I just, I was just asking because, um, yeah, your test definitely came back positive. And that's exactly how she talked. Like, your, your test definitely came back positive. And, um, yeah, so congratulations, blah, blah. So I'm like, what? <laughs> like, and not to anybody, you know, any, not to really bring race into it, but you know how, like, the white people be. is like, yeah, like, oh my God, congratulations, blah, blah, blah. And I was just like, I was like, wait, what? I'm like, girl, I'm like. I'm like first she's like oh that's probably um she's like that's probably why you look so bad right now i said no i look so bad right now because i went out last night and i and i got fucked up i got a hangover like i'm still a little bit drunk like so <clears throat> whatever we talking back and forth whatever so then when i left the doctor's office y'all i just went outside i got in my car i must have sat in my car parked for like 20 minutes I FaceTimed who I needed to FaceTime or whatever. So we talking and I'm like, what? Like, what are we going to do? Like, this is crazy. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I wasn't expecting me to be pregnant because when we do what we do, like, I mean, <laughs> like, I just, long story short, I wasn't expecting to end up pregnant, right? So basically, he was just like, what you mean? Like, what we doing? Like, first he was like i'm with whatever you with but i really wanted to keep like seeing what his legit answer was like where his mindset really was and he wanted me to keep the baby so i'm like all right fuck it like and i'm not gonna lie like i was like emotionless for like a good two weeks and then i was like all right let me just stop acting like this like you know what i'm saying i was kind of feeling bad so then um what happened so then i tell leia yeah oh no leia that's my sis right so then we start putting two and two together 
So now she want to be talking about she had my symptoms. She was wondering why she was feeling like this, feeling like that. Because y'all know we be together like 24-7. We work together. We be together on the weekends with our kids. We be together after work. Like we always together. So and then I couldn't figure it out because one, first of all, I told my friend Janae like, yo, I had a stuffy nose for like two weeks with no cold. Like I don't got a cold. I just got a stuffy nose. This shit blowing on. She like, oh, that's what happened to me. That's how I found out I was pregnant. I had a stuffy nose for like a month. I'm like, bitch, bye. Like I'm not fucking pregnant. And this is before I took the test. So now I'm rethinking everything. Like, like damn, I had a stuffy nose that ass for like two weeks. And I googled it. That's that ass a pregnancy symptom. Then what else happened? Um. Yo, I was thirsty as fuck. Like, yo, so dehydrated and my mouth was so dry. And I never knew that dry mouth and all of that is our pregnancy symptoms. Like, that's mad fucking weird. When I say I used to be at work dying, like, I could drink a whole bottle of water, a whole bottle of apple juice, and still my eye will have, like, the cotton mouth. And I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Like, I'm thirsty as shit. <laughs> like... And it's so funny because Leah had those symptoms. <laughs> and I'm just laughing because, yo, she was so aggy. She was like, yo, bitch. She was like, I. So we texted each other. We had two different posts that day. Like, we wasn't posted together at work. So we texted each other. <laughs> she was so serious. Like, she was so tight. She was like, yo, you need to fucking stay away from me. She's like, yo, I'm sick. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I'm crying because. Yo, she was really aggy, like, and she was being so mean to everybody, like, and I'm really mad at me. She's really, like, she's one of the same, but she's more nicer than me. And, yo, she was, like, she was texting me, like, I didn't want to say nothing. <laughs> yo, I can't even get it out. She was, like, I'm sitting here and I'm thirsty as fuck. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sorry that I keep laughing, but I'm mad silly. And if you know Leah, bro, she was so aggy. Like, so that was that. And then also, I was wondering why the fuck I was so fucking twisted, bro. Like, when I go out, I get drunk. Like, I don't, don't get it wrong. Like, Kyle would tell y'all. Y'all know Kyle. Kyle don't never let me live my drunk nights down, bro. Yo, I can really get fucked up. But that night, for as much as I've drank, I was down bad. Like, I was down bad. And I'm just like, why am I this lit? And I niggas had like two drinks in a shot. It was all Casamigos. I think we had, I think I had like two Casamigos margaritas and one Casamigos shot or whatever. Because in the spot, it was shot o'clock, so the girls were just coming around, pouring, looking in our mouth, whatever. Yo, I could not believe that shit. I'm like, that's why I was as fucked up as I was. Like, that's crazy. So then, um, <clears throat> all right, so now I'm moving forward. Like, yeah, I know I'm pregnant, right? So then I'm like, oh, I'm good. Like, you know, whatever. Um... But then, like, that's when, like, fucking morning sickness started kicking in. Like, maybe, like, two weeks after I found out. Had crazy morning sickness. And, which was, like, so fucking miserable to me because I never, like, with my son, I never had morning sickness before. So, that was real irritating. Because it's, like, I actually, I literally only threw up one time. But, <clears throat> every day and then my morning sickness was in the morning it was like after like four and five like after four or five o'clock in the in the evening is when i would start feeling like nauseous lightheaded dizzy and it's like any time i was hungry like if i didn't eat every two and a half to three hours i would start feeling sick but then once i eat it's like a go away but then it's like once I start getting hungry again, I'm back feeling dizzy and sick. Like it's like I had to constantly keep eating. And then, oh, another symptom. Like I'm real greedy. Leia always likes to say I eat like a man. Don't believe her, but I do be eating a lot. But that's another thing I noticed before I um and we both pointed it out. Like before I found out, I realized like I couldn't eat as much as I normally do. 
um i wasn't as hungry and stuff like that like my appetite went completely down like my appetite really went down um i was so tired y'all i was so fucking tired like i could really sleep like i was probably like on the days when i didn't have to work like on the weekends and stuff i can honest i think i can honestly say i was sleeping like 12 like 14 hours a day like legit 14 hours a day and even when i would open my eyes i'm still dreadfully tired like od tired then like a few mm, like a week after i found out that i was pregnant i had covid and i'm like i'm super miserable because now i'm pregnant now i got covid i can't take no medicines everybody's like oh you could take tylenol you could do this but i don't play around with that because the way i grew up i always heard you do not take any kind of medication any kind of medicines while pregnant and everybody kept saying like you can take tylenol it's okay even a doctor oh you can take Tylenol. even my gyn you can take tylenol you could take tylenol i'm not taking nothing and I'm glad I stuck with my instinct because, like, a couple of weeks ago, I was driving my son to school and I'm listening to the radio. And you know how they be having, like, those lawsuit commercials and those um, lawsuit class acts for certain for certain things. And guess what, what, the, what the shit said on the radio? It said some shit like, if you have, if your child has, um, no, what it said? It said, if you have taken Tylenol while pregnant and and your child now has autism you may be um you may be able to like get a lawsuit basically like you can file a lawsuit this that and third and i'm like you see like you see how later on down the line like information and science changes all the time like that shit is like a revolving door like now and, and mind you my paperwork even still to the day like my recent paperwork that i got from my doctor if you look at the pamphlet um, my doctor gave me a, a list of all the medications that's okay for me to take while pregnant and Tylenol is still on there and I'm like I just heard on the radio like there's little suits against that like there's they're they're thinking that if you took Tylenol and your child has autism that Tylenol may have may be the reason why your child is autistic like that's so fucking weird even though we already know they don't know there's they really still don't know exactly what causes autism. But the fact that I heard that, it's like God wanted me to hear that. Like, girl, you done suffered. You ain't take no Tylenol, no nothing. And let me just reassure you that you made the right decision. Yeah. So, I was miserable. I had COVID. I didn't do nothing. The only thing I did was, um, was drink Gatorades. Like, and drink soups, teas. I mean, eat soup drink teas and gatorades and um i did feel very very much so worse before i got better but i thugged it out like i didn't take any medications so um i say as of like maybe two weeks now um <clears throat> i haven't had any morning sickness um i did feel like sick nauseous like the other day from like three in the morning like throughout my whole day which was weird and I couldn't figure out why because I was eating and like I said normally it would go away when I eat um it didn't go away so I'm like what the hell so I was confused but I don't know and then I got this cold right now so I'm like what was killing me was like my head was hurting and I got this runny nose I got this cough I, I had like a mini slight throat that's like I mean sore throat that's like off and on um and y'all hear my voice that sound terrible so I'm just really hoping I don't got COVID again. Like if I have COVID again, I am going to scream. Like it's having COVID while pregnant is not fun. Like not being able to take anything. And I'm really not big on medicine, but the way I felt, you can't not take nothing. I did it, but it's like, I was like dying. Like for real, for like a good week, probably a little over a week I was. I was out of work and everything. But I'm trying to think, y'all. What other symptoms? Symptoms that I had was just low appetite, stuffy nose, dry mouth, slash dehydration, I guess. And yeah, y'all, like, 
this is crazy like i don't know how i feel like at first it was just a shock i was real emotionless and now i'm like oh my god i'm really about to have a baby right around my house like this is crazy like my son is 11 years old i had absolutely no business <laughs> absolutely no business starting over but i'm young so i'm still young so it's okay i don't feel like getting up for the sonogram pictures i have one sonogram like physical picture and then um and then my nigga has the other one but i got pictures of them in my phone i don't want to show like the date and stuff so this is like Numero uno. This is the first one. And then. Like this is like. A few days after I had found out. Like that one. And then. And then. This is the other one. Y'all this is so crazy. I'm about to have a <laughs> Y'all it is so crazy. Because when I posted it on Instagram everybody was like they like in the comments everybody's like congrats congrats blah 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 but in my dm behind closed doors they was like you fucking lying like not quay and i'm like yo i'm like yo i swear to god like that's my same reaction like not city girl quay like you really gotta be that nigga to really to really take me out of here like <laughs> like what like you you like you you really you did this like you did this like you done picked me up and put me on a shelf like who like who like nobody got that much power to ever put me on a shelf and sit me down like and it's so crazy because i finally told my dad like a couple days ago and he was like what he said he said something like Oh, somebody done set your ass the fuck down. Like, that nigga really set you down. Like, and I'm like, yo, for real. Like, somebody really made me sit, like, really set me down. Like, I had so much stuff planned for this summer. Like, me and Kyle were supposed to be doing our birthdays together in Houston. Big B&B. &B. His group of friends. My group of friends. We turned up for, like, four days. And then come, you know, fuck Houston up real quick. Come back to NY. Yo, I can't do none of that. Now I just... I don't even think I want to celebrate my birthday this year. Like, this is so different. Like, I did not have a kid since 2012. It is 2023. Like, what do I do? Like, how do I live? Like, I don't even know. Like, oh my God. Like, but besides all of those thoughts, I am happy, okay? I'm happy everybody's happy this is like little golden child right now like so much love um and yeah i just can't wait i'm not gonna tell you my due date because like i said we're not doing dates we're not doing timelines we're not doing none of that because the internet is weird and like i said there's people who watch my videos who don't gotta be just watching my videos and it's just like mm, that's not your business it's not your business my mind your fucking business <laughs> but yeah y'all everything's good like i don't know i'm just living a happy life a private one a semi-private one very much private like 80 percent private 20 percent i'll say a little something here and there but yeah everything is good over here like i'm great i feel good um, I'm happy to have my energy back. I was really fucking dreadfully tired, drained, physically, like no energy, constantly sleeping, constantly sick. So I'm glad I'm feeling better. I'm up. I'm good. I'm I'm like feeling better. Yeah, y'all. But I just wanted to share that this is not supposed to be a long drawn out video. I am gonna be doing pregnancy vlogs now, like going to my appointments, organizing my house because first of all. My room and the way my crib is set up in general from the closets to the bedroom to the living room to the hallway closet. There's no space for baby stuff in here. There's no room for a third little body to be running for a little body to be running around here. So 
I got a lot of changes to do, so I am gonna be like vlogging my whole journey, like you know, different experience, different. I, I, well, not really. A it is gonna be a different experience, honestly, because every pregnancy is different. Don't matter if you got five kids, six kids, ten kids. Each time is gonna be different. So. Thank you guys for tuning in and make sure you hit that like button and that subscribe button. Definitely subscribe. So thank you guys for tuning in and I'll see you guys in my next video.